So this is the Decatur LID Stormwater Project. This is a cooperative project between the Department of Ecology and the City of Olympia. We're doing a demonstration project of an innovative stormwater roadway design. Our project limits are from 9th Avenue here all the way down to 11th. We're doing a two block section of Decatur Street. And we're going to rebuild the section of the street with a combined roadway section and a stormwater system in the same footprint. The goal of LID stormwater treatment is to manage the stormwater as close as you can to the site where it falls. Traditional stormwater management takes the water off site from a roadway into a pond, treats it, manages it, try to infiltrate it off site, and then discharges it downstream. LID tries to manage the stormwater directly where it falls. That means for this project, we're going to build a stormwater facility underneath of the traditional roadway system. We're going to take the water um, from the roadway, we're going to treat it, that means clean it, remove the pollutants and the sediment, and then infiltrate it under the roadway base. So in this two block section, we're actually going to try three different um, techniques for cleaning the water and getting it into the underground or the subgrade system for infiltrating. This first section here is going to have cartridge filters. So there'll be a traditional grate here. You won't see anything different on the surface, but beneath the grate will be a, a large canister that will filter the stormwater before it goes back into the roadway for infiltration. The second section, the middle section, will be pervious asphalt. So that's asphalt with a lot of holes in it. The water will directly fall on the asphalt and go into the underdrain system for infiltration. The cleaning of the pavement is the removal of the pollutants. And the City of Olympia will come back and clean the pavement on a regular basis to remove the pollutants, the sediment, um, the, the material out of it, to, to clean the water before it gets into the groundwater. The third section down the end there is going to be a rain garden design adjacent to the, the roadway. The rain garden is a biological soil matrix which attempts to filter and clean the water. The dirty water from the street will come in the top and will filter down through a layer of compost, soil, plant, media into an underdrain system where it's removed and taken back to the roadway section for infiltrating. We want to have the three of them side by side as a trial so that they get the same amount of rainfall, the same amount of traffic loading, and we can compare the effectiveness of the different treatment types and the underdrain system. This two block section is going to work out as a great demonstration project. Basically on a construction project you start at the bottom and you work your way up. So we start with the things that are really deep and then we finish with the surface restoration. We actually have to excavate down the whole roadway prism two to three feet and backfill with our drainage material and our reinforcing for the road and then build the, the roadway materials. After we've completed the construction portion, we're going to monitor for a three year period, summer and winter storms, collect pre and post water quality samples um, from the diff three different areas of treatment and compare them for effectiveness. We're going to have two different types of monitoring on the project, uh, water quality sampling and water level measuring. Um, so there's two goals. We want to be able to clean the water before we infiltrate it and we want to make sure that we're infiltrating enough water to meet the goals of an LID stormwater technique. This particular roadway design is applicable um, to anywhere in the country. It's not a unique situation for Olympia or Decatur Street. If anything, this street is actually going to be really difficult to have this project succeed on. The soils here are very um, fine-grained and very slow infiltration rate associated with them. So if it works in Decatur Street, it'll work anywhere in Olympia, anywhere in the region.
in Olympia here, we've been struggling with um, trying to redevelop within an already urbanised area. We have existing roadways with no stormwater management and we have developed properties on either side. So that's um, forcing us to be much more innovative on where we manage that stormwater. A traditional roadway, you would have 100% of the rainfall that lands on that roadway um, flowing off to a location to be cleaned, treated and managed, which typically means stored and released metered downstream. But when you concentrate a lot of water into a tiny footprint, it's very hard to infiltrate a lot of that water. So we end up creating additional runoff downstream, additional flow volumes. Um, the LID project is aiming to infiltrate all of the water within that footprint and have no increased volume discharge downstream. As we get more urban, um, our land values have been increasing. So the cost to actually acquire a parcel, um, remove a structure and put in a traditional stormwater system is, is getting increasingly more expensive, which means it makes these innovative technologies um, much more cost effective. I would say even 10 years ago, the cost effectiveness um, was heavily weighted towards the traditional design. But with the increase in um, land costs and an increased emphasis on stormwater management, our regulations have got a lot more strict in the last five years. The cost effectiveness of these types of designs is actually starting to be equal to traditional stormwater management. This is a traditional stormwater pond. This is traditional stormwater management. The water comes in one end, um, goes into the wet pond where the sediment is settled out, and then the cleaner water is discharged downstream. The Decatur Street project actually currently drains to this facility. The, the runoff that's unmanaged on Decatur Street now actually makes it through the stormwater conveyance system into this facility. With us building the Decatur Street project, there'll be a reduction of flows into this facility and help it uh, manage its existing runoff or its remaining runoff much more effectively. The, the holy grail of stormwater management is to be able to replicate pre-development hydrology, which means forested land use. So we want our streets to look like forested land cover to the downstream water resources. We want them to get the same quality and quantity of water as forest. The LID project attempts to replicate that by cleaning the water in these three different types of techniques and then infiltrating it into the, the ground underneath the roadway. I think the fact that we're doing this demonstration project in Olympia is really indicative of the environment that Olympia Council and senior management supports. There's a lot of green awareness in Olympia. And that's sort of translated into a lot of willingness to explore new ideas, and new technologies, to try to solve our environmental impacts on our urban scale environment. So it makes my job really easy when you have um, really supportive council members who are willing to take risk, willing to be in, um, innovators. It really means a, a project like this can come to fruition. Mm -hmm.